Welcome to The Restaurant Show, where we are going to talk today to some of the best restaurants in the area, Low Country, Hilton Head, Bluffton, and um, up on the roster we have Diane Crowley, one of my favorite women in the world, um, from Wildlings Cafe, talking about some burgers. And then we're also going to have Leslie Rowland from The Cottage out in Bluffton, featuring some of her fantastic pies. And then last but not least, also one of my favorite restaurants is Marshall Sampson from the Santa Fe Cafe. So please stay tuned and we're going to learn a lot about some great food in the Low Country. Hey, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and I have here one of the people that I am absolutely enamored of is Miss Diane Crowley from the fantastic Wildlings Cafe, The Empire, which I'm just, <laughs> oh, I love her. And um, we're here to talk today, not about wings, though. We're talking about burgers today. I love it. I know. You know, <laughs> I never get to talk about anything about but wings, because right? when they think of Wild Wing, they of always course. think of wings. But when I think of Wild Wing, I think of sauces. Yeah. And therefore... You can use the sauce on anything, and it. since we're knocking on the door of summer, yes, we are. <laughs> I think burgers off the grill. Absolutely, I agree, one hundred percent. One hundred percent, Angus beef, hand patty, straight on the grill, just like you do it at home. Absolutely, you don't have to clean the grill. I like yeah. it a lot. <laughs> Actually, it tastes better when there's a little flavor on that grill. So. I think so. Well, <laughs> I bet there's some yeah. on ours. <laughs> So what do we have here? Which is this one? All right, so this is the fajita burger. And okay. I wanted to show you the different things that you can do. Now this is our fajita marinade. You have 33 sauces I, that I we it. make every day. I can smell it. It smells delicious. Smell that? Yeah, yeah, it actually has really pineapple juice and everything in it. Love it. And so I'd start with the base of the pineapple, of okay. the fajita burger, mm -hmm. okay? A little pepper jack, great big burger, some peppers, some onions. Yeah. For me, Guac. Oh, guac. Homemade guacamole it. from fresh avocados. And it's so easy to get this stuff from the um, grocery stores right now because it's all so accessible because of the summertime. And, and, right. And I know here you have your, um, is that Pico? That's our own awesome. Pico. So Love you would it. never have to go to the grocery store because we're making this for you. Right, right, right. And so <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't, but don't even bother. You don't have to make the guacamole. Let Diane make it for you. You can, <laughs> you can get this guacamole with all of this in it. And you won't have to go to the store and exactly. do anything. A little pico on it. Love it. You know, I'm trying to do this with, with a the, knife, yeah. which Normally is a little we difficult. Just, like, scoop it in, yeah. <laughs> and then put the top on it. Oh, that looks so good. Stick a knife in it to hold the baby together. Oh my gosh, there I love go. that. That Fajita. is so good. All right. But now, now this, I though, prefer. This I, is my baby. I will tell you, that is my absolute favorite wing. Is I and Jalapeno I can never cheddar? go and get something else. So to see it on a burger, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> See, it's a way to go. <laughs> you should you try what. it on ribs or on a chicken sandwich. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Because it, now I like to put a little extra on the bun. Of Just gives it that extra pop instead it's of It's rude mayonnaise. not to. <laughs> <laughs> and just to get, we'll fry up some extra jalapenos love it. for you. Can I try one of those jalapenos? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, they come out of the fryer mm. crispy. I mm -hmm. don't know if they've stayed mm, that way. They got a little crunch to it. I love it. Okay, so the jalapeno cheddar is already cooked on the burger. It's on the burger, too. It's on the burger. Delicious. Because you asked for it. Of course. Let's say you did. <laughs> and then, and we added burger. I liked, I mean, uh, bacon, because everything's better with bacon. Everything we got is... a little cheddar. Big slice of... Oh. Uh, a uh, summer tomato. tomato. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, top it. Mm. You could do lettuce, but why have the lettuce run these crispy jalapenos? <laughs> we don't need lettuce. It's too much like a vegetable. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. This is just <laughs> fine. And this is my favorite part. Oh, that sounds so, yeah, the crunchy bacon. I love it. Now, if that came to my table, I would be like, back off, everyone. Don't you know, even watch me because I'm about to go to town on it. We make That's people awesome. step back. Yeah, step absolutely. away. <laughs> and so, I mean, I, you know, you make all these in-house, obviously. All the sauces, every day, 33 of them. That's we a make lot. every day. And um, people come to us and say, you know, it'd be a lot easier if you just bottled your sauces and then you, yes, yeah. it would, but, but it wouldn't be nearly them, as good. But you sell them, too, We do though. sell them. Right, so we have, if you want to take it home with you, you can it's get right it It's right there in the Perfect. foyer. And now this one, I, I don't even know what to say about this, but I'm guessing there is a birthday coming yes. up very soon. <laughs> what you should say is happy birthday. Yes, exactly. It's it's like, our... oh, that's so awesome. 22nd birthday. Oh my gosh. 20 sec 22 years on Hilton I Head. can't believe it. In fact, it's a birthday so big it takes two wings it's to fly. Yeah. Think I ever wrote that before? She's so good. She's so We're good. going to do this in both Bluffton and in Hilton Head. Awesome. Good. The, on the 22nd of June, actually the weekend starts on the 22nd of June, 24th is Wingstock. Oh, I love Wingstock. So I've much seen fun. you at Wingstock uh, yeah. before. I believe I don't you know let your time. hair down. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what time you saw me at, but maybe I was there. But it was early. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, that this, is unbelievable. This what? is our double bubble burger, oh or our, our happy birthday burger, or whatever we want to say. Two, I mean, it's 22, so it's two burgers, double the cheese, Double the oh bacon, and I was going to put double the onion rings, but then you wouldn't see yeah, it. Then so you, yeah. <laughs> but you know what we're doing? Then we wouldn't be able to carry it out. <laughs> and when you get this, you'll have it'll have a um, birthday candle in it. Oh, I love you're it! You're gonna light it. I and love it. And we're serving your fries, your fr your um, big fat These fries. These are the big fat fries, which I love. And, and a birthday cheese hat. and bacon on it too. With cheese and bacon. A little know, chili, you can't maybe. Be shy. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I love it in the hat. And we're serving it in a birthday hat because everybody who comes to Wild Wing that weekend will ultimately turn it upside down. And be wearing it. And put it on it, their head. It. I will be wearing one for sure. And the um, later the night goes, the better chance there'll be two on your yeah. head. <laughs> if it's a good night, exactly. Well, you know, with Wingstock, though, what's going on with, with Wingstock? What do you have going on that Sunday? Is that at both places or just? Just in Hilton, Hilton Head. Head. Okay, Out so in the parking lot. We're going to call it the party lot. Love it. We're going to drop sand like we have done in the past. I know. 20 tons How of sand. How do you do that? You know, you have a landscaper come out, and they consider it a landscape thing. Yeah. They lay down the proper... Um, Drainage, right, 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 so that it doesn't get into your storm sewers. Then we lay down. They come out with a big drunk jump I truck, love it. put it all down, and they pick it up with a caterpillar, and you'd never know it was and there. And it's like you have the beach right there, where well, it all started, really. Exactly. <laughs> I, I tell everybody we were born at the beach in the middle I, of June. I'm telling you what, and I and I remember going back a few years to the duck pond, and you were probably a child. One of my, I know. One, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite memories of Hilton Head is that duck pond. So, 22 years later. You know, Hilton Head's been awesome to us. Yeah. We could have never started anywhere but. Uh, this year, Wingstock, uh, we're starting out the day with these two kids that are um, from American Idol, American oh, Idol alums. I love it. Then Cran then uh, Piedmont Boys, Simplified, and uh, you always, ending up with Cranford. You always have great bands, though. I tell you what, that's the one thing with you guys. I know there's always going to be good music there. And always. it's a party for the whole family. There'll Yay! be jump castles. Yay! Everybody can be there. Jump castles. And if you are there late enough, you might be in the jump castles. So. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but I love it, and congratulations. Like I said, I am just enamored of you, and I just am so excited for you for your 22nd. It's, it's a big deal, and um, everyone's invited to join in. Um, for the birthday, and that's on the 22nd at Hilton Head or Bluffton, and of course Wingstock on, on the 24th Head at the original. We love it. So thank you so thank much. You. I'm so proud and to be on I your show. I am going to be eating this in just a little bit. So, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, everyone just back away from that one. <laughs> yes, she's armed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And we'll be back in a little bit with Leslie from the Cottage. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and I have here the fantastic Leslie Rowland from The Cottage out in Bluffton on Calhoun Street, which I love. And I wish you could be here to smell how wonderful all these pies are. Thank you. Um, and I've been to your place, and like I uh, was saying before, that I went straight for the corned beef hash. I didn't even have room for all of this because it was so delicious, so now I'm excited to try some of it. Thank you. Um, what are we starting with here? Well, <laughs> we decided to do for this show summer pie, something that was reflective of what's happening in the garden or Absol in the stores yeah, and absolutely. the bounty of this time of year. Great so the farmer's markets, which you're a great part of, the yep, farmer's market The Bluffton. farmer's market of Bluffton, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, the first one we decided to do was an apple crumble. And this is a very, so um, very, very simple pie to do. It's basically um, chopped apples, and mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of a brown sugar flour topping on it, and right. then we've drizzled it with caramel. And we chose to do it as a mini version because a lot of people can't have a whole large pie or they don't have enough people in their house. Right, absolutely. So we thought a little mini pie is just perfect for a little snack or a little treat yeah. after dessert. Or that kind of day. Yes. <laughs> Where you need to eat the one, whole thing I'm, yourself. I'm going to grab this one because this Thank looks you. so good. This is a fresh blueberry lattice pie, uh, and it's done with an all-butter crust, and it's very simple. It's really just about a cup and a half of blueberries, a right. little bit of sugar, a little bit of spices, maybe a little lemon and some cinnamon, and then you bake it for about 30 to 45 minutes. And it's it gorgeous. Just, thank you. It's and, firm. And tell me, the, this, is a, this is, what is that called? This is a lattice crust. Okay, gotcha. As opposed to a double crust. And I prefer lattice crust 
crust for fruit pies because you can see the fruit bubbling up and they ah. tend to cook a little more even. Gotcha. Good um, tip. I like that. And thank what you. makes um, a flaky crust? What flaky crust generally comes from using a shortening and butter combination. Okay. If okay. you don't want to use shortening, you can use an all butter crust, and it's just as fabulous. And right. I have to say, the the crusts you can buy in the store, mm -hmm. the ones that already come rolled out, are super fabulous. So yeah. don't be afraid to use those for ease exactly. and for simplicity's sake. They're wonderful. Or just come to your place. I mean, or just come to my <laughs> place. Make it really easy. <laughs> That's right. All right. So now I see this beautiful Let's cobbler go here. This is oh, fabulous. That this looks so good. Thank you. This is actually a new recipe we did. This is a peach and Fiji apple cobbler. Oh. And what we did was on the biscuits on top we did out of cane sugar, which is Yeah, I like the way fabulous. that looks. I like the I like that you like you can see the texture of the sugar yep. on there. Yep, and what's nice about this is you get the sweetness of the peaches and the softness oh. of the peaches and the apples and then a little bit of a crunch on the biscuits. Yeah. And they're not too sweet. And then they're sprinkled with a little bit of turbinado sugar. So it's really quite it. healthy. I love it. Thank you. And I the like peaches, that. It's healthy. It's Good. healthy. It does have sugar in it, but it's right, healthy. Right, exactly. It's, and it's not fructose that's in there. It's, yep. it's, it's the real deal. All right, this. Oh, this is this oh, is awesome. This, this is, is like, actually a tart. I don't even know what to do with that. But it's a pie. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's perfect. It is. I want to really eat it is. all. There's this is strawberry in the middle. Just yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is a um, a, ta a a tart or a pie. Okay. And what we've done is we filled it with a cream cheese filling that has been flavored with a vanilla citrus extract, That's which awesome. is called awesome. Fiore di Sicilia. It's very Fiore unusual. Fiore di Sicilia. It's Ooh, awesome. Fancy. It's from Sicily, <laughs> and so it gives it a vanilla citrus. Um, um, flavor to it, and then okay. we've topped it with strawberries, and then we've drizzled it with a I bittersweet it. chocolate. I love it. And look at this crust. Beautiful. I mean, this is actually a puff pastry crust, really, which you can also get in the store. The puff pastry um, is comes the same way as the pie dough. It comes in sheets, and then right. you mold it into a tart pan or into a pie pan, and then you can just bake it. So rustic looking. Very rustic, and you can use this for sweet or for savory. So it's Good very tip. versatile. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, I'm guessing that this is going to be your favorite one. And this I'm is my most just go favorite. For it. Thank you. It looks like it weighs about 10 it pounds, does. right? It does. You're it's feeling cool. it. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Okay, this, what is the favorite? Okay, this is called <laughs> Fruit of the Forest Pie. Okay. Now, Fruit of the Forest Pie is a very, I have researched the name, and I can't seem to come up with what the history of the name is. Okay. But what is fabulous about this pie, the two major ingredients, the two ingredients that you must have in a right. fruit of the forest are rhubarb and apple. Oh, okay. Now, rhubarb, I don't know if you know this, rhubarb is actually a vegetable. Oh. I like to call it a combination of like celery and pomegranate. Yes, because that's the way the color looks and the way I can see where that, cr yep. that crisscross is. Crunchy and sweet, but right. it does impart, once it's cooked, it does impart a little bit of a tart flavor. Okay. So we have done this particular pie with rhubarb. And um, pink lady apples, and oh, then we've added. Pink lady apples. I know, so and they're awesome when they bake because they're extremely sweet. That's good to know because yep. I know some people go the opposite end and do like a granny, like a tart right. apple, or a, which you, you know, can, and then right. you will really get tart. Which I'm gotcha. not a huge fan of too tart. Right, right. Okay. But in this one, it's the rhubarb, it's the pink lady apples, and then we've added some blueberries and blackberries. <gasps> and again, with these it really pies, is the fruit of the forest. <laughs> yep. And the great thing about these pies is the less you do to the pie, the better it is. Right. So just a little bit of sugar a little bit of spice. You want to have a thickening agent of some kind. Okay. I chose to use cornstarch in here, although you can use other mechanisms. It's okay. fine. Okay. And then we did, again, the same um, crust as the blueberry pie. Yes. And we did it as a lattice because that, I think, is the most... Like you said, it, the fruit can cook a little bit spectacular. more evenly. Yeah, and you can see it. And so it's a really beautiful presentation if you're going to go to a picnic or if you're going to have a family reunion. Oh, yeah. You can bring this pie you'll and you like will be the, the star. You'll be like the most favorite person. I'm sure you probably are. At your and I'm going to give this pie to you, <laughs> Orchid. <laughs> For your okay, family. See you later. <laughs> I love it. If I can make my kids eat vegetables. That's right. That's right. But you know, tell us though. Um, well, first, you can obviously come to the restaurant. You have these pies already made. So, um, how are the different ways that we can that we can taste this? That you guys can actually dig into some of these. Yep, you may come to the restaurant, and on any given day, we mm -hmm. probably have anywhere from four to six pies, as well as another fifteen to twenty desserts oh, wow. that are happening right. all the time. And the corned beef hash. Uh, yes, and the corned beef hash. <laughs> and then, if you'd like to order a regular pie or right. a larger version of one of these pies for an event, with we the like holidays coming up, July fourth coming up. Yep, absolutely. and certainly is wedding season now too. Oh yeah. You may do that and we just prefer 48 hour notice. Okay, great. But you can order any of them, like you can order that blueberry, but in a large version. Correct. You could order this as a mini. Oh, you, could you could order one of each, two of each. That's fantastic. We can make them larger, we can make them smaller, whatever great. you prefer. 
That's and it's a great time for fruit pies right now. Oh, yeah, because everything's so accessible. Yep. Well, I love it. Well, please go visit Leslie and her fantastic staff over at the bakery. I'm sorry, the, the, cottage, the cottage, bakery, cafe, and tea room. Tea room. Yeah. <laughs> and they're on Calhoun. And, you know, catch them on a Thursday after the farmer's market and really enjoy um, downtown Bluffton. And thank you so much. We'll see you again next month. And yep. I'll, I'll probably see you at the farmer's market, too. Okay. So. Thank you so much, Leslie, for coming in. Thank you very much. <laughs> I welcome. appreciate it. Good luck with the show. Up next, I have Marshall Sampson from the Santa Fe Cafe on Hilton Head Island. He's going to bring up some of some inspired dishes from their recent trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and I have here with me Marshall Sampson, the owner of the Santa Fe Cafe, right there on the William Hilton Parkway. Uh, it's been there for a while, actually. Uh, yep, 23 years. 23 years, my gosh, that is a long time. And it is definitely um, a special occasion place for me. I, I love it, it's fantastic. We're, we'll talk, sure, I'm sure we'll talk about my favorite item there later. Absolutely. But um, but I think you've brought some even more wonderful items here, inspired by some trips that you've taken. Uh, and this definitely. is, tell me about this dish right here. Well, we have our fire roasted bell pepper. It's uh, got a sa Santiago sauce right underneath it. Mm -hmm. And so the fire roasted pepper we cook on our mesquite grill. Oh, that's Stuff so it with great. Parmesan cheese, yeah. rice, southwest vegetables. That sounds got good. Got a nice yellow tomato. Yeah. Finish it off with a little Monterey Jack cheese melted right on top. That sounds so good. And it's vegetarian. Vegetarian. Which you know, not a lot of people are vegetarian, but I would be totally willing to try that as my entree. Absolutely. And how did you come up with that dish? Because that's not like, you know, that's not like, oh, I came up with it just right, like that. Right, right. <laughs> well, it's funny. We uh, took a, I took all my chefs to Santa Fe, New Mexico about a year and a half ago. <laughs> awesome. And we just enjoyed the culture, the history, right? the food, obviously. Yeah. Um, Immersed yourself in it. Immersed yourself in Yeah. Exactly. And uh, while we're there, every restaurant we went to, I found myself ordering a vegetarian dish. Really? And you're not a vegetarian, though? I'm not a vegetarian, though. by any means. No. You're a carnivore. <laughs> I'm very much on the carnivore <laughs> side. But they all sounded so good, and they right. all had just such big flavors to them and everything that I just, right. everywhere we went, I did it. Which and I think that food from Santa Fe, and, and your restaurant especially, is mm -hmm. very reflective that those bold flavors. Absolutely. Very bold flavors. Yeah. Um, and so this is something that you just well, fell in love with. We did fall in love with it. It's not quite what we had over there, but right. after, you know, we spent the whole week there, yeah. brought it back, messed around stuff for a good three months before we actually put this on. Oh, the wow. Menu. So there is a lot of there's time lot and of, effort. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of trial and error. And <laughs> a lot of arguments, maybe? You, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. Um, and is that the only vegetarian item that you have? Uh, no, actually. We also have a stuffed portobello mushroom. Oh, and that's that sounds good. Artichokes, chilies, yeah. caramelized onions, Parmesan cheese. That sounds so put good. Put that over a mixed, uh, mixed greens, actually a grilled romaine. Yeah. Oh, grilled and, romaine. Yeah. Do you do you find a lot of people are kind of like we eat the lettuce is grilled? What's right, going on with right. it? But they it, it's but it's great. great. It is great, and people fall in love with it every time they try. It, and that's why know? they go back to Santa Fe Cafe <laughs> all the time. Um, yeah. So this next item now. I will tell you, my favorite, I'm sure you never hear this, is my favorite is the grouper. I've never heard <laughs> no, that. No, you've never heard never, that before. Yeah. You don't sell very many of those. So you have to come <laughs> few, up with this. A couple yeah. Maybe. yeah. <laughs> that is your number one seller, though. It is it? by far leaps and bounds. I tell people all the time we probably go out of business if we stop I, selling it. And I that's will, probably the truth. I, you know what? I, I don't agree with that. But <laughs> I will tell you that um, way back when, when I lived in Chicago still, I actually had a golfer at the, I was a golf cart girl. He said to me, Oh, you're moving to Hilton? I said, Yeah. He said, You've got to go to this place called Santa Fe Cafe for the Grouper. <laughs> and that is almost 20 years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's been around and it's a tried and true. So, that's awesome. But so, what is this one then? This is our salmon. Okay. Uh, what we've done is we've taken our filet of salmon, uh, breaded it with tortilla chips. Oh, okay. Pan seared and oven baked it. Oh, and then so it's not, fr it's not, it's not fried. fried. It's Correct. awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, it tried to be light if the summer's coming yeah, up and everything like absolutely. that. It's a great summer dish. Uh, Put a bed of mixed greens, okay. toss it with cilantro vinaigrette, put a oh. thin English cucumber wrap all the way around it. And that's what this is that's right around there? That's what this there? is right around here. Very yep. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> but but very simple, though, to do. Very simple. A uh, little avocado cream drizzled right on top to finish it off. That uh, is gorgeous, and it looks delicious. Yeah, it is. Where's my fork? Can <laughs> I eat it right now? And I love, though, that you get that crunch yes. without having to fry it, fry to truly exactly. fry it. Yeah. Um, so, Tell me a little bit about, I mean, I know it's summer season coming up. You guys have that great rooftop. 
Oh, we do. <laughs> and it's a uh, prime Tell time Tell me season about that, right yeah. Now. Yeah, it's a rooftop cantina. Uh, okay. It sits above our main dining room. Okay. Um, we have a bar up there. We also oh. have tables available there. Full for bar dining. up there. Full bar, yeah. So you could go up there and have drinks and not necessarily have to be like, you're not waiting for a table. You could right. actually just go up there. Enjoy yourself outside. Ah, yeah, and under. what, um, and I know you guys have entertainment. Uh, I know we they do. Have good we have a great guitar player. His name's Ramundo. He plays Wednesday through Thursday. Ramundo. Ramundo. I can't really roll the eyes, I can't either. I know, right? right? Ramundo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Playing the guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. So but, he's no, there he's when? Great. He's there Wednesday through Saturday. Awesome. Um, and he plays from 7 to 10, so you can enjoy some great music and have some food underneath the stars. Do you normally, well. would you have to call ahead for those tables? Absolutely. There's you only do. nine tables up there. Ah, so that's a big deal difference yeah. nine tables up there but then there's the bar area yes and I think if I remember correctly there's also like a fire like a really cool a, fireplace area yeah we've got a nice little Kiva fireplace up there that's uh not great in the summer but right, it's very right. very very cute and very co cozy and everything and nice to sit around with friends absolutely um, and I'm I'm guessing that now is there also a grill like can you get the same menu upstairs that you can in the Absolutely. restaurant? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, which leads me to my next question, which I love. I have not had the pleasure of sitting at it yet, but the chef's table. Yep, our okay. chef's counter. We have eight yes. seats available for reservation down there. Okay. Uh, it's a great show. When the chefs are, you know, 7 o'clock, 7.30 hits, it. you're watching them put out 200 plates. Uh, so they're know, not just preparing your food. They're preparing everybody's food. Right oh, my gosh. You. There's yeah. a little pressure there. A little pressure, yeah. Our chefs have to be on point all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> but you can order and you can, can kind of interact. You can ask them questions. They can. It's very really? hard to sit there because most people have trouble ordering something because I see all the different dishes. Like, well, I want that, I want that, right. I want that. But, you know, uh, you can pick up a couple pointers maybe while you're of sitting course. there. Of course, know, yeah. And uh, it is. It's just a great show. Not me. I would be like, no, I'm just going to stick with what I've ordered for the past 19 years. <laughs> it's that's so good. That grouper, the um, painted desert painted soup. Painted desert soup, yeah. And then the salad with the ground beef in it. Oh, uh, yeah, the Santa Fe salad. Can't go wrong there. Santa Fe salad's fantastic. So is, do you have any special events coming up? Um, uh, well, there's a couple different things. You know, we've got our guitar player that right. plays. Um, and then the biggest thing we have coming up right now is Tuesday nights. Big oh. nights for fireworks across the street. That's right. It is right across Just the street. Just so happens you can see the fireworks from Isn't the rooftop that cantina. Convenient. So it's very, very nice. You don't have to deal with the crowd or anything right. like that. You can the have traffic. a margarita. Watch the fireworks. I love it. I love it. Turn the lights off for it, and I'll just have a good time. Oh, so you actually like create the atmosphere. Absolutely. So you definitely need to call for that Tuesday the appointment. Tuesdays are definitely going to need a yeah. reservation for that nine o'clock area. Right, so know. that nine o'clock. So fantastic. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for coming and sharing so for and me. introducing me to new things on your because I had never looked past the grouper. So, <laughs> but otherwise, um, make sure you call for reservations ahead. It is definitely worth it, and um, we will see you next time. And thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that was a great show. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks to Diane, Leslie, and Marshall. And stay tuned next time, and we'll bring you some more great ideas and tips and food from the Low Country.